Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm gonna to show you how I paint my Games Workshop Sector Mechanicus base that I use for my Death Watch. These are the paints I'll be using. So once I've taken the model off the sprue and cleaned up the edges, I then prime the model with some Vallejo Black Airbrush Primer. You could also use a Rattlecan Black Primer. And then once that was dry, I then added my base coat of Lead Belcher. Now when I'm doing basing, uh, I don't want to use up too much of my paint, and so I watered it down about 50-50. Lead Belcher is a pretty thick paint, so even at a 50-50 watered down, it still covers pretty well. Once that was dry, I hit it with a heavy dry brushing of Necron Compound. This is just to bring out the metallics a little bit more, especially in the areas that I'm going to be leaving a metallic. And then I added a heavy wash of Citadel Null Oil. Once the wash had dried, I then added some of my accent colors. I started out with adding some Citadel Hash Hut Copper to all of the great places. I'm leaving the, uh, the main, the main uh, panels of it, I'm going to be leaving a normal silver, but on all of these small great areas, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the Hash Hut Copper. And I found that the color doesn't cover very well, um, and so I ended up having to use quite a few coats to bring it up to the bright color. Once that was done, I then began adding my verdigris. I used Citadel Sotec Green, mixed about 50-50 with some thinner. I then added this verdigris to some of the copper areas on the model. Right now I'm just picking out some areas to use this as an accent color. I'm not, taking, I'm not doing uh, too much work blending it out because that's what I'm going to be doing with this next step. I added oh, quite a bit more thinner, and then I used this watered down Sotec Green to blend out the blue. Then with all the details on the base picked out, I then painted the edge of the base with some Citadel Rhinox Hide. I picked Rhinox Hide because there's actually some Rhinox Hide accents on my Death Watch models, and I always like painting the edge of my base to match one of the accent colors on the actual model. And there is the finished base. If you have any other ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do, please leave in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.